Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. Today we're taking a look at a Samurai Mew small neck knife fixed blade. We've got a little uh, ABS sheath with it that's got a little bit of an LED light and a chain and then a short piece of steel made of Sandvik 12C27 and a little lanyard. If you're interested, stick around. The full review's coming right now. So here's the knife and the sheath. Uh, we'll take a little look at the sheath first. You can see those uh, nuts right there. On the other side, we've got the Torx head. So this comes apart pretty easily so that you can change the battery. Oh, I didn't write down what model battery number it is. So that comes apart easily. You need the battery for the light, as I mentioned. So it's not a very bright light and it's a pretty small battery. So basically it's for situations where you just don't have any other option and you need to get that, uh, you know, you need a little bit of light, but you're not gonna need it for an awful long time. It's a decent option. And then you've got this chain here. Not too bad, but it can break away in an emergency if you need it to. And reasonable, ABS plastic. It's a reasonable sheath. Um, I like that there's this little bit of jimping right there. So that when the knife is in the sheath, you can grab it like this and push a little bit with your thumb to help get it out. And it's got a clear designation. The uh, spine of the blade goes up here and you, uh, where the thumb ridges are, push it in. It holds well, doesn't make any noise. That's this chain making noise when I'm trying to do that. There we go. That now it's that making noise. So no noise unless the leash here, or leash, <laughs> the uh, lanyard hits something. So it's a decent enough thing. It fits fairly small across under your shirt. You know, that does bump up right there. Uh, I wish they would have made a different way for that. Oh well. I'm using new software for my camera, so if it's refocusing a lot, uh, hopefully it doesn't, it's not so much that it's bothersome. 12C27 Sandvik steel for the blade, and then you got a little bit of cordage here with a couple of beads in it for the lanyard. I'm not too fond of that lanyard. This knife, I'm fond that it has a lanyard, but I'm not, I don't like this specific lanyard very much. Lanyards are pretty cheap to get if you want your own, or, there's lots of videos out there to teach you how to tie them. I'm no good at that. I've tried many times, but uh, you know, a lot of people can tie lanyards and you can buy lanyards as well. A lanyard is helpful on this knife because you know it's just so small and I've got my pinky and my second finger grabbing onto it to help get a good hold on the knife. So I like that this knife has it, but it's not a good one. Now the blade itself, uh, you can get this in four different color options. Uh, all of them say the violet, so that's not a color listing. <laughs> uh, this one is the 4101 FUZ-SZ, or Z for Americans. And uh, that's just got a black little line on it, black text. You can also get it in a blackened blade, so the whole knife is blackened. And then it's got different color for the, the writing. Uh, they've got a blue version where there's blue anodization on the edges and you know inside the cutaways here. And then they've got another one they call gold and it's got sort of a gold lines on it and a little bit of gold anodization inside those edges. So those are the four different color options. Um, it's not very expensive. It's $17.10 on uh, GearBest. I got mine from GearBest. Uh, 14 pounds, well, 14 pounds and two pence. And in euros, it's 16.36 euros. They don't ship this knife to Canada. I don't understand why GearBest is not shipping knives to Canada right now again. They've been going back and forth 
for a couple of years when I first started this channel, they I did a lot of gear best reviews, a lot of them. And um, it's just been getting hard to get knives into Canada sometimes from GearBest now. And, and then they ship back to Canada and then they decide not to. And right now they're not. So, oh well, I guess it is what it is. But Americans can get this or you can get it shipped to the United States. Uh, United Kingdom can get it. Uh, most places in Europe can get it. I didn't check Australia and a lot of other places, but I'm assuming they can get it as well. Now, let's go over all of the uh, specs and that kind of information on this knife while this uh, measuring tape is on the screen. The cutting edge length, if you just measure it straight across, 4.22 centimeters, 1.66 inches. Um, I'm not sure where to measure blade length exactly or not, or handle length even, but the full length of this knife is 10.43 centimeters, 4.11 inches. So if, you know, this is just over an inch and a half, that means this is about two and a half inches for the handle, roughly. Uh, the blade thickness and the handle thickness are the same number. Uh, 3.06 millimeters, that's 0.12 twelve tenths of an inch. 12 tenths, 12 hundredths of an inch. <laughs> if it was 12 tenths, it'd be over an inch. 12 hundredths of an inch <laughs> uh, thick. Just That's just under an eighth. Um, it's quite light. Did I say the weight of it? I didn't say the weight of it yet. Um, 27 grams, one ounce. If you add the sheath in, it's 55 grams, 1.95 ounces. And um, there's not a lot of specs to give you on this. Oh, the cutting edge. We've got a hollow grind, and then the thickness behind the grind there is 0.45 millimeters, which is 17 and a half thousandths of an inch, so it's a nice thin edge. But I didn't give you a grind angle because it's very varied. You know, the grind angle right here is quite shallow, and and then it gets steep, and then it gets shallow, and on this side it varies back and forth as well. Let's just say the cutting edge was not ground optimally by Sandra and Mew on my example. But it's easy to sharpen this knife. 12C27, I would sharpen it to about uh, 20 degrees per side to make this a good little EDC knife. Uh, did I try cutting with it? Yes. Cut cardboard, open packages, uh, did a bunch of little tasks, and this knife just works fine for those kinds of small tasks. The finish on this knife, um, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some kind of laser that's gone over the whole thing. Um, Take a look at this uh, image of this section of the knife right here, close up, through a microscope. And that's why I think they just sort of did a laser something on this knife. I like it. Um, you can get it from GearBest, like I said. Um, a good knife, uh, srmknives.com is Sandra and Muse manufacturing website. Uh, they don't sell from that site, but they've got specs on this if you want, the specs directly from the manufacturer. So that's, uh, let's go over the pros and cons on this. It's comfortable in hand. Um, there's good jimping here. I like that jimping. Uh, I wish it had that kind of jimping all the way around or something a little smaller, maybe just a slight bit more aggressive, but the jimping's not bad. Um, you know, the knife comes out of the sheath easily enough, but not too easily. So that's a good thing. Um, you know, it's totally ambidextrous. That's a good thing. I would like this knife better. There's not a con on the knife itself. I would just like it probably another 15% larger. <laughs> it's just a little too small for me. Uh, my hands are between large and extra large. You know, there's other knives that are similar. Here's this uh, Schrade knife, the uh, SCH-F5SM. You get a little bit more cutting edge and a tiny bit more length, but the Sandra Mew is a whole lot more comfortable to use than this. 
So just bigger for the sake of bigger doesn't mean much. It's the it's the shape and how it fits in the hand. Um, so I do like the San Remo better than that. Um, another knife that I got from Gearbest a while back, this one's a bit bigger. And this is sort of the size that I'd like uh, the San Remo knife to be, something like this. I did this video about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And, you know, I would have liked the handle. I don't know if I did then, but I think I would have liked the handle a little bit thinner than it is here. But uh, it's a comfortable little knife. And uh, as you can see, you know, the cutting edge is about, you know, another 30, 40% longer than this one is. And I think that would make uh, this knife pretty close to perfect if it was just a little bit bigger. Uh, the sheath could be pretty much the same size and uh, it'd be a great knife. Right now, it's a good knife. So thanks for watching my little video. Uh, thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, I've got links down below to make it easy for you to buy this. Uh, they are affiliate li links from Gearbest, so I do get a tiny commission. I uh, just wanted to make sure I let you guys know that. And remember to cut towards your chum, not your thumb.